Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chica, also known as Chica Chica. I am a travel lifestyle content creator, social media mentor, and podcaster. Today's a good day. I'm feeling good vibes, and I'm so pumped to do that. Thank you so much for clicking on this video because today we are going to be talking about, guess what, guess what, guess what? How to grow your Instagram account in 2019. Now, I'm gonna say 2019 because these things are relevant to currently. However, that being said, this could be relevant to any time. So get your notepad, get your tea, get your wine, if you know it's five o'clock somewhere, and let's get into this girl. That's the first tip. I know this is redundant. I know this looks weird. I, I mean, I know this sounds weird, but um, it's not at all. It's letting people know what you do. I obviously, as a content creator, I can definitely relate to this. Sometimes people will message me, and I get this question all the time on Instagram. They'll be like, Sheikah, I really don't know what's going on. I want to engage more. I want to grow my account. The algorithm sucks, blah, 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 all this stuff. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is that realistically if i go onto your account i don't even know what you do i don't even know if it's like are you a travel influencer are you a you know content creator what are you you know that's one of the biggest things i actually got this tip from vanessa lu who's actually a social media guru kind of person and she's awesome she's also from canada i believe and um, one of the things that i learned from her that i want to pass on to you guys that really made a big difference is putting in you know your name but also putting what you do so if you are you know stephanie fashion influencer or uh i don't know Brittany, a beauty comp uh, influencer whatever put that in your actual like name because when you people look at you up or look for influencers or beauty influencers you're most likely going to come up so that's one thing that a lot of people don't do is letting people know what you do and always ask yourself what value you're bringing every picture every video you post Regardless of what it is, you're hoping to eventually, you know, obviously connect with people, whether it's through whatever you write in your caption, your picture, relate to people on a genuine level. So the best way to get started with that is letting them know like exactly what you do. So when they go on your feed and they've never heard of you before, they're confident in following you because they know that you know exactly what you're offering and they can really connect with your content. So second thing is respond to comments. Oh my God, the amount of times from big, small, important influencers, content creators that do not do this and I'm telling you if you are reading this video right now and you do not respond to your comments, you are not doing it right. What my point is is that if people are taking the time and I am commenting beautiful dress Stephanie but you don't even notice like that how do you think that's gonna make me feel like I'm not gonna want to comment again you don't even care about my comments so why should I? Commenting and responding to comments is a great way to a, I guess, help the algorithm, if you will, but more, even more importantly, to connect and build that relationship with the people that are following you and the people that find you on Instagram. So what better way to do that than to respond to every single comment genuinely, giving them something so they can kind of look at it and know that it wasn't just like a heart emoji, it wasn't just like a thanks XOXO or a smiley face or some whatever, just making it more sentimental. Obviously give and take, like if they give you just a heart emoji, then you can't really do anything. Like do I see like, thanks, you have a beautiful dress too. No, like you, you kind of have to work with what you've got. But if they're actually putting in the time to make a comment, like, you know, really respond. Every single person, people, every single one of them. Um, that's also going to help you because like when people research and look at your Instagram and they notice, hey, this girl's actually reacting to all the people that are that, that commented, they're going to know that it's not just, you know, you're just like another account. You actually care about the people that are following you and that's going to want them to come along on your journey with you. You see what I'm saying? Second thing I wanted to let you guys know is Instagram stories. I love me some Instagram stories. If you're not following me, by the way, <clears throat> at Chica underscore Chica, go say hi to me. But I love my Instagram stories. You can go check them out. I love Instagram, it's the bomb, you know, you can get to know people, if I'm figuring out if I want pizza or St. Hubert, if you don't know what St. Hubert is, I don't know, I don't know 
if we could be friends. I'm just joking. But what I was trying to say is that Instagram stories is a great way for people to connect with you regardless inside within your own niche. So if you're in fashion or beauty, this is a way that people get to know who you are. You know, if you work nine to five, you know, knowing that you work nine to five and you're not only just beautiful pictures of you traveling around the world, you know, you actually work and have a job and do cool things and you're doing being authentic and you know, you took a break off Instagram. Hey guys, I took a break off Instagram because I'm human. You can let people know about those things. Um, communication is key. I always tell people social media platforms is just a tool. It's a form of communication. We're just taking what us humans like to do in person and we're too lazy now because we're millennials and we're doing it online, which is cool because then the whole world is in our hands, which is also scary. So anyways, I digress. My point is, is like Instagram stories also a great way to just really connect with people, but more importantly, get their opinions. Like I said, the whole pizza St. Hubert thing, or like, should I wear a red dress? Should I wear a white dress? Whatever it could be. Um, getting people connected and like really getting people to, you know, ask you questions, getting to know me, ask questions is great. I know Instagram just added the whole getting join a chat kind of thing, which is cool. Um, the music thing used to be allowed in my region, not anymore because, you know, copyright. That was a cool feature while we had it. Um, but my point, being is connect with your people, get to know them, get them started. It's also an amazing way to DM and get them to bring that conversation to a personal space, their DMs. Let that happen, let that flow, do that Instagram story, don't get scared. Yes, your life is interesting. Yes, people care about it. The amount of times people message me and say like, my life's not interesting, why would I do my Instagram story about my food? Like people would like that stuff. So just go do it. Go do an Instagram story right now, I mean. Next thing is collaboration over competition. This is so huge. The past two and a half years that I've been doing content creating, one of the biggest things that I, I always like to tell people is like, you know, when you're going together, it is such a big impact. And I can't stress that enough. It's like almost like a charity, right? If you're raising money on your own, you know, during Halloween by yourself, it's sad, you know? But if you're with like five of your friends, you're like, hey, you wanna like join and like help this charity? A lot of people are gonna wanna do it. So my point is, it's like, collaboration is always the key another great point to make as well is there's a reason why influencing marketing became what it is today you know people don't trust businesses in the sense of like we're tired of advertising the traditional advertising think of that annoying jingle in your head that you know since you were a kid that always plays on TV now we've transitioned and changed the industry where we're, we want the average Joe to show us how they use their tie not Angelina Jolie like she gets someone else to wash her stuff so point is is collaborating is key most of my best brand collaborations have been with people that I really enjoy in the industry and I've been able to build amazing relationships with brands with people and even with my own following because of it so again collaboration is so key um, content creators is where it's at you know whether it's going on a podcast with someone and telling your story or doing a blog post with someone and you know doing a night look with you and day look with the other person and sharing each other's posts you you really are gonna gain another great thing too is if you're collaborating with someone who's also in the same industry as you in the same you know niches you most likely their following is gonna be like wanting to check who you are you know if Maggie's over there and no one knows Maggie over here in my area and I post about Maggie, everyone's about, ooh, who's Maggie? Have you checked out Maggie? Let me go check out Maggie. Maggie, I like your content. Follow and go comment, comment, all that stuff. So point being is you want to make sure that everyone knows Maggie and everyone knows you because it makes everyone happy. And why wouldn't you do that? And you make friends while you do it. So just like, just go collaborate. Go, go collaborate after this video go collaborate next last tip that I have for you guys because my phone locked and when I'm doing it engage sorry engage with your audience engage with your tribe engage with the community most importantly and what I mean by that is like besides the whole comment and like and all those things that other people tell you on here go offline you know the amount of times that like people will message me and be like hey like you're also from my city. I really like like chilling or whatever. Like I'm not chilling. <laughs> really like following you. Can we chill? And I was like, yeah, for sure. We go for coffee. Time is so priceless. The moment that you give someone your your time with them, they're automatically gonna want to like support you. There's each person that I actually like. Most of the people that comment on my stuff and 
even some people that I like connect with it's crazy because there is an actual connection with them. I was like, I know when we first met. We had a first impression. Like, we go way, way back. I know each and every one of you guys. I keep my tabs on you guys, and that is important. Um, but most of those relationships came from either events that I went to or getting out of the way and making, you know, like a content creator's lunch and meeting up with other content creators. It's such an, a huge, impactful thing. And uh, I want people to kind of know that, you know, there are millions of accounts being made every single day. It's not impossible. However, what you get from it is what you give from it. And what I mean by that is if you give the connections that you want to make, if you give the information that you want to get, you'll get that back. Like, I tr trust me, you will get it back. There's so many times where I connect with someone, I've helped them out with something, and then, you know, turns around and becomes an opportunity with that person. It's crazy. So, you know, really engage with your community as much as you do online, offline. You know, don't be looking at your screen at an event. I've been to events where that happens, and I'm just as doubtful for doing it too. Sometimes I do it as well. However, I catch myself and I'm like, okay, I should be here connecting with people like old school, like talking to someone. Hey, how's it going? Like talking. So that's kind of what I would suggest. I hope those tips helped you guys out. And again, these are all things that I personally use. I felt like not a lot of people were talking about those things. I wanted to be real with you guys and honest with you guys of what I've been using and what has really changed the game for me um, as far as the connection I make. And I want to make this really, really clear with you guys. At the end of the day, with Instagram growth, the real growth is the impact that you're making with people, the influence you're making with people. Regardless if you have 500 followers, 10,000 followers, 5 million followers, whatever it may be, if you are impacting someone based on what content you're pushing out there, you know you're doing something right. So I want you to get less into the numbers and more into how you communicate and that was one of the biggest reasons why I want to do this video is working on how to engage and communicate and deepen that connection with your audience. So hope that helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also press the notification bell because you know, you love the videos and then you can be part of the fam and you know, we could be friends and all that stuff. Also come say hi on my Instagram. It's at Chica underscore Chica. I know I dropped it earlier on the video, but come say hi, say hello. Um, I love connecting with you guys and let me know also what country you're from. You know, I'd love to visit your country. I love traveling. Kind of what I like doing. That's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. I hope you guys have a great day, night, morning. Thank you so much. Ciao. Adios. I'll see you in the next video. And ciao.